If you're a one-man band and you would like to record the video of yourself remotely, there's several ways you can do it with your Nikon camera. Hi, it's Konstantin here and today I'm going to show you how to set it up. If you have a camera that supports Wi-Fi functionality, you can connect it to your iOS or Android device, e.g. phone or tablet, via SnapBridge app. And how to do this, do check out this video above or in the link below. I'm going to set it up with the Z6 Mark II here and we'll demonstrate it step by step. So you watched my previous videos and now you connected your camera to SnapBridge. Once it's SnapBridge, all you have to do now is click Remote Photography at the bottom of the screen and it should ask you to connect to your camera via Wi-Fi. We're just going to click OK on that and we're going to wait. So sometimes it may take anything between 10 seconds to a minute. So just see through that, it will get there eventually. Here we go. So now our camera has been connected. And in order for us to take videos, we need to select a video mode from stills on the top screen of the SnapBridge. I'm going to click on that. And all you have to do now is just click record to record yourself. And now you're recording yourself live. Hello and welcome to Grace of Westminster, your weekly roundup of all the latest Nikon news and all other photographic announcements that we found interesting. Here's Constantine, and Becky's not here. I'm just going to click stop on that and it will save the video to the memory card of your camera. So it's not saving it to your phone, it is on the memory card, but that's good news because the videos, especially in 4K, are quite large. Another option is to use ML L7 remote trigger, of course, only if your camera supports it. The good thing about this trigger is it's got a dedicated record button on it. And the last option that we are going to mention today is uh, to use wireless remote kit if you got one and your camera supports it. This one is not quite straightforward, but bear with me and I'll show you step by step how to set it up. Assuming that you paired your trigger with the receiver already, there are a couple more steps that we need to do. First of all, what we need to do is actually to tell the camera to go into a live view mode. And to do this, we need to assign our function button on the trigger to go to a live view mode. All we have to do now is to go into the menu of the camera, so press the menu to go into the menu system. We need to go to the setup menu, the one with the spanner on the left. And we need to find the setting there, which is called assign remote uh, VR function button. We're going to go inside and we're going to choose Live View. There are a couple more settings you can set it up to, but Live View is the one that we need now. So I'm just going to click OK on that. And now the function button is assigned to Live View. So I'm going to click Function button now. The camera will go into the Live View mode. And I, by pressing it again, I will switch it off. So half job is done. Our camera can now go to Live View mode. The problem is, if I just press the shutter release button to record the video, it will take a still image instead. So what we need to do is to assign our function release button on remote and basically on the camera to record videos instead of stills. We need to do it via the menus of the camera. Press menu button to go into the menu system of your camera and let's go to the custom settings menu. It's the one with the pencil icon on the left. There we need to highlight uh, the bottom line which is called G for Golf Movie. I'm gonna click OK on there and then select G1 setting, which is called Custom Control Assignment. There, we need to find our shutter release button on the camera. So that's the one that you take pictures with. That would be on my D850 at the bottom of the list. On some cameras, it's slightly different. But by going there, it gives me two options. Take photos or record movies. So I'll select Record Movies, and I'll click OK to confirm. So now, by pressing shutter release button on the camera or on the trigger itself, the camera will record the movie instead of a still image. Step three, and that's a simple one, set your camera to record videos on the LV switch. So switch it from stills to videos. Okay, it all has been set up, so let's test it out. I'm gonna hit the function button to go into the live view mode, and then I'm gonna click release button to start to record the video. Hello and welcome to Grace Always Means the Friday live stream. It's Constant here and Becky is not in, so you're stuck with me for an hour. I'm gonna pause now. And that's how you do it. And that's it. If you found this video useful, do hit this like and subscribe button. And if you want us to cover more topics like this, do leave the comment below.